They came by the hundreds to the key brewing company on Gray's Road in Dundalk. Many brought their children. I think that this is something that definitely needs to be supported, and I will be, I will be definitely be praying for all of the port workers um, who was affected. The brewery pledged 10% of beer sales to help port workers whose jobs are imperiled by Tuesday's historic disaster. The cargo ship collision that destroyed the Francis Scott Key Bridge and closed the Baltimore Shipping Channel. The funds will be managed by the Maryland Waterways Foundation. Right now, as the ticker's going, without all the money involved, we've sold over $8,000 worth of stuff so far, and that money's going to a charity, and it's only halfway over. Many who came to enjoy a beer and listen to the music are still in shock. The Key Bridge was part of their life, something they saw every day. It meant home. Now they see images of it on TV and pieces that still entomb the bodies of four neighbors. The Port of Baltimore is where their friends and family work. People whose economic future is uncertain. Donna Rosenthal wore a shirt that expressed the resilience of tough people facing enormous upheaval. This is what Dundalk does. When people need help, we come together, and I'm proud to be a member of this community. The fundraiser was put together in just a few days' time and staffed by volunteers. This is Sparrows Point, Dundalk, everybody coming together to support the port workers. This is what we do. Governor Moore has asked the state legislature to establish a scholarship fund for the children of the victims. In Dundalk, Jackie Benson, News 4.